Dr. Ashton and I let you know we did record the show a little early. We're spending some time with our family on this day. We want to leave you a little Thanksgiving gift here with this uh, with this show. But we're tracking developments. Continue to do so as always. This big number. How about this? 8.1 billion. That's the estimated number of calories to be consumed in this country on this Thanksgiving day. All right. So, but people are gathering, and right. folks need to hear this. Know you with your families, but how can you reduce your risk of COVID at these gatherings? Well, listen. People are going to be concerned about this, even if it's on the back burner. See what I did there? Oh my goodness. Uh, so, just a, a refresher <laughs> about ways to reduce risk of COVID-19 transmission as we get together this Thanksgiving and holiday season. Ventilation is critical. So weather permitting, open doors and windows safely. You do want to turn on the exhaust fans that you have in your home. So that means yes, the one over the stove. And yes, if you have one in the bathroom, those do work um, on your air conditioning, your HVAC. You want to run the fan on on continuously, not auto. Uh, that helps with air circulation. And if you are in a car, Open those windows, really. Anything you can do to increase airflow and ventilation will protect you. Okay, when should everybody's next COVID test be? You travel and get in the plane, first of all, and then you travel somewhere. Now you're with a group of folks, most unmasked, maybe in the house. That's right. Now you get back home. When, when should you and test? And maybe you get back home and then someone says, I'm calling yeah. you to tell you that, guess what, I just tested positive. This, this should be expected, unfortunately. So again, it's how we can prepare, how we deal with it. The recommendations from the CDC are that if you are fully vaccinated person exposed to a known case of COVID-19, you should wear a mask indoors when around others for 14 days. Okay, so that even means in a home setting, you should get tested day five, six, or seven after exposure. And that holds true also for traveling. If you're home and you want to do a rapid or a PCR, uh, three days is the minimum, but five, six, or seven days is what the CDC is recommending after exposure. Uh, if you test negative in that five to seven day window, should, are you done with the mask? Then, you keep it then on according the... to the CDC, you're clear you're with clear the negative after. test. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.